Hello, and welcome back to our episode of GeoGuessr. Welcome, my name is Wizzy, so you can also call me Wizzy, and today we're going to be doing another custom challenge. This week's challenge was sent to us by LCP1121 um, on Discord, so once again I do want to thank you LCP um, for the suggestion. If you or anyone else would like to suggest a custom map or challenge that you would like to see me play for this video series, you can either do so by letting me know down in the comments below or on my Discord. I will be providing a link to my Discord down in the description below if you want to check that out and and or submit a custom challenge that you'd like to see me play. Um, I guess I can't think of anything else I want to say. Typically I do mention a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, also I, there will be playlists in the description below if you want to check those out as well, but I guess that's everything I need to say. So short intro, so we're gonna get into it. So this map is called, hmm, America. Use and use the draw tool, so expect a lot of locations. Um, well, it has a million plus locations. Um, Mexico and Canada is included, also part of the Russia next to Alaska, so... Yeah, this should be interesting. But anyways... All that out of the way. Oh, also... I do provide a link for you guys to play along with me. For those of you watching on Twitch, I will be providing the link in the chat. And for those of you watching on YouTube, um, link will be provided in the description below. And also, that reminds me, I do record these videos on during a Twitch live stream, which I typically do on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to check that out, maybe next week. Um, I guess I will, I will be providing a link to my twin, or Twitch channel down in the description below. Of course, I always mention on Discord as well when I'm going to be going live on Twitch. So that's a good place to go find out when I'm going to be going live. Anyways, uh, like I said, links for Discord and Twitch can be found in the description below. But anyways, that out of the way as well, I suppose. This is going to be five minutes per round. Copy the link. And there it is for you guys on Twitch. And once again, for those of you on YouTube, it will be in the description as well. And I guess it's about time we get started. So, start game. Manzanelito? So that, to me, because he mentioned that there is uh, our Mexico and Canada is included. Um, this makes me think that we are in Mexico. So we're gonna go up this way. Transport. I don't really see any location on there. It's kind of hard to tell. But I'm, I'm pretty sure this is Mexico. I mean, it looks like Mexico to me. Disminuya su velocidad. So reduce speed ahead, perhaps? I'm not very good with any Spanish or... Yeah, it's Spanish that they use in Mexico, right? I know that's a silly question. Yeah, Spanish I'm not too familiar with, so... Yeah, really any other languages. Like Fran French, I'm somewhat familiar with, uh, considering I took that in school. But Spanish, no idea. So this is the Mexico 80. Um, 
does Mexico 80 continue along that way? So we have, what were these other towns? Let's go back. Okay, and we're kind of heading north, so I'm gonna take a look at the map. Mexico 80. We got 85 over here, 70. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they do the east-west thing as well. Um, we got 180 over here. Mexico City. Is it around here? Probably not. 85, 190, 37, 80. Okay. So we have San Cayento, Cocula, and Guadalajara. I know one thing about, um, okay, Guadalajara is right there. Know one thing about Mexican speak, or Mexican language, is Cocula is right there. But anyways, one thing about the, um, Mexican language, or, like, sort of, yeah, or Spanish language, rather is the J is usually pronounced like an H. San Cayetano is right here. So we are... Okay, we had the Manzanilito. Okay, so we're just about to this... Um, just after this restaurant here. Kind of in between the two roads here. Are we like exactly in between? Nine seconds left. Not really. We're closer to this than we are to the road here. So let me move it back slightly. I mean, we're going to be... We're still going to get 5,000 points anyways. Nine yards, yeah. Okay, this to me looks like southern U.S., uh, perhaps Florida. Public invited the golf club of Jupiter. It's one thing I know about Florida is that it has a lot of golf courses. <laughs> um, I mean, I know there's golf courses everywhere else, but isn't like Florida like the golf capital of the world or something like that? I think I heard something like that. Anyways, I don't know. Jupiter Park. See, that's definitely the Florida plate. Yeah, we've got Florida roots here. Uh, 706. And what were we on? Were we actually on a state route or any sort of route or no? Okay, we do have green signs up here. Interstate 95 it looks like. Okay, where are we between? So we're no we go north to Daytona Beach, south to West Palm Beach. Um, well, West Palm Beach is way down here. Daytona Beach is up here. So that still doesn't narrow it down a lot, but I mean, we definitely know we're along this um, I-95 corridor. On the eastern part of Florida. So we've got three minutes left. What 
Where was the road that we were on? Was it? No, it wasn't this one. Right? No. No, we were back here, right? Yeah. Was it this road? I don't think so. No. Um. I think I went too far. Because I want to. Because I know we had the state route signs at that intersection that we were on, or that other road that we were on. And you could see. I think it's right up here. Yeah. Right. No. Oh, it was this road right here. It was 706. So 405. We're looking either for Jupiter or 706. Seventy over here. Seven oh nine. I'm pretty sure this isn't where we're at, but that's where I'm gonna place it for now. Cause that's seventy. Seven sixteen. Seven fourteen. Seven oh six. Right here. Okay. So we were on. On what road are we on? Why are you blurring that out? Central Boulevard. So we were by the golf course. Um, were we by it when we started? So we're coming around the corner here. What's this road up here? Indian Creek, which is right there. So yeah, we're, we're like right up in here. Because we have... Okay, that's that little, little like, um... Body of water right there. Uh, I mean, we're going to be pretty close on this one. I'm going to let the time run out again. Three yards, yeah. Okay. This looks like it could be the US. Um, possibly Canada, but I don't think it is. Kind of Midwest. West Lisbon Church, Route 47. What type of Route 47 is it? Is it a... Like, that literally doesn't help. Just saying Route 47 does not help with anything. <laughs> um, unless it's like an actual route sign, like a state route or U.S. route. I doubt it's a U.S. route. Um, for all we know, it could be like a county route. Although I think, for the most part, county routes... Well, there are some places with county routes that go and that use numbers, aren't there? Um, Village of Lisbon. Oh boy. Um, Route 52. Okay. Um, we're gonna go this way. Right now, I'm thinking possibly like Iowa, Indiana, or Illinois, Indiana, somewhere around that area. Yeah, 
about three minutes remaining. So there's still plenty of time for us to figure this out. Uh, so Route 4752, they could very well be county routes. Although 52 could be a state route. Um, I would like some signs though, like some actual route signs. Okay, we are coming up to another road, more of a Morris Yorksville. Illinois, I called it. It's US 52. This is Route 47. So 52 is east-west east, west right here. Um, we're on the 52 right now. I'm crossing the 47. And what were the towns that we had? Morris and Yorkville. Okay, oh, here's Lisbon right there. Um... Like right on. Actually, were we on? No, we were on North Canal, right? Joliet Canal, Joliet is right there. Okay. Is that just basically saying to Route 47? Yes. Okay, so we went up this way and came up to 47 over there. Um, I'm gonna just do that. Four yards. Perfect. Okay, another one in the Midwest. This one's Ohio. 108. Just knowing the state route isn't really gonna help us too much. I mean we could if we need to we can look for it, but we kinda need to know at least one other thing. Either a US route or a town. Now looks like we're gonna have a no, that's a county road. Which is not going to help us. Okay, we are going to have a town here. Actually, we're entering Count Henry County. Um, leaving Putnam County. Okay. We're on the Ohio Route 108. I'm going to continue to go this direction. Looks like we are coming into a town, possibly. And we have a church off to the right. Sacred Heart Catholic, or Catholic Church, County Route Y. See, it's interesting how they have the county routes there. That was just a farm. C2. I suppose with all these county routes like this, we may be able to find where we are. But I'd rather, like I said, get at least one other route and or possibly a town name. Looks like the road might end up turning up here. We are coming into a town. I'm gonna stop up here. Okay, 108 turns.
toll gates. Okay. Let's go into town here. One way turns to the right. We don't have any other routes, it looks like. So I'm going to look at the map. <clears throat> Just see if we can find 108. Um, I feel like this round we're probably not going to do very good, but... Um, I'm going to say we're probably Western Ohio. We got like 111, 114. Although it shows 108 is... Okay, 108 right here, Holgate. Um, F E Y. A2. So we did cross X. What is this right here? Road C. Which is right there. Okay. And we're not too far. That house is being built. We're closer to this building here. Uh, so I'm gonna say we are right about there. Nine yards. Okay. One more round. This looks to be the US as well. Um, more Eastern, I'd say. Back it up, what did this sign say? Shawnee Heights High School, DuPont Road. And that's all that said. Okay. So Shawnee Heights, Topeka, are we in Kansas? Topeka Steakhouse, fine food. Um, I'm gonna assume it's not there anymore. So we're in U.S. or we're on U.S. 40. And I can't go... Oh, I can. Okay, never mind. Because I want to see... Oh, we don't have... That's just saying U.S. 40 both ways. Um, okay, that doesn't really help. So Shawnee Heights, and we have a sign that our an old Topeka uh, restaurant. US 40, though. Would that go through Kansas? I don't think so. Is that a highway up there? It looks like it very well could be. Valley Falls. State uses that I can't remember. Oregon Trail. Um, Valley Falls, Sixth Street. So that's State Route Eight. Hmm, what state was this again? Well, we could probably narrow it down. And we have State Route 4 as well. Oh, actually, that's what that is. State Route 4. Um, oh, what's that up there? Looks like there might be another route sign. So let's go up onto there. Can we jump up to here? There we go. Okay, Interstate 70, Kansas City. So this could be Kansas then. 70, where's 40? Old US 40. Um, but where is current? Okay, we have State Route 4 right here. Is this exit? Exit only, doesn't have an exit number. So what's going on up here? Are we... 
on before? So this must be 70 right here. Exit 366, that's looking west. 353. 355. Three sixty four, three sixty five, three sixty six. And where do we go oh, from over here? Okay, US forty. So we were over here on this road. Forty four seconds. Let's go back. So we weren't wicked far. Shawnee. He's DuPont. Shawnee Heights Road. That must be what that is. Okay. So we've got... That's quite the old house. Um, so we're like right up in here. I can't see this building. Three yards. Perfect. So overall we had one location in Mexico and four in the US. Basically three of them in the Midwest. Although this would be more going into the plains. Um, but yeah, I mean... The furthest one we were off by was nine yards, and that was the Ohio location. But either way, I mean, overall, and we got tw the perfect score, 25,000 points, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that is just about going to do it for this video, though. Uh, for those of you who tuned in on Twitch, do not go anywhere because there is more to come. But for those of you on YouTube, I hate to say it, but that is just about going to do it for this video. So hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!